Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and today I am moving all the lumber that was uh, kind of put in the wrong places. Uh, as you recall, yesterday a bunch of it was just thrown at the end of the driveway. I didn't move that stuff by hand, well, some of it was by hand, but mostly what I did is I moved it up on top of my, my car on the roof rack, and then drove it uh, a little bit closer, and then unloaded it the rest of the way. Uh, and this stuff was left over here, uh, you know, kind of where the landscape people are going to need to work, so I'm, I'm moving some of it here. I, if I had been here, if they had called me the way they were supposed to, uh, I would have had them deliver everything up right by the shed over here, which would have been really con convenient. Uh, I'm going on four hours of just moving this stuff. Uh, but today, what I wanted to talk about uh, is stacking lumber, because whether or not, uh, you know, you get a delivery and they screw you over and they don't call you and then you have to move everything or not, moving lumber from one place to another is a pretty common occurrence when you're building a house because you know you put it in an ideal place but then that ideal place will need to change you know, kind of move it around and you've been seeing us move lumber around a lot in this project and what I wanted to talk about was when you are stacking lumber it's really important to put these little ties uh, every every few boards what do I got here like uh, six boards and then I put a tie and this goes through uh, all three stacks of lumber and that really helps to stabilize the whole pile because all the piles are kind of grabbing onto each other if you just uh, make a bunch of towers, uh, it's really like Jenga, and it can be dangerous, um, and especially with, you know, river coming here uh, on the build site, you know, this, you know, that's a lot of weight. It could come down, it could hurt him, kill him, you know, or hurt, you know, an adult or whatever. Uh, but even if you don't care about anybody getting hurt, it can damage your lumber, have it fall on the ground, get muddy or whatever. So it's a good idea as you're going up every few, every few courses of uh, lumber, just throw one of these ties right across the whole pile. It'll rigidify the whole thing and just make it a heck of a lot safer. I've got about, I don't know, probably about a half an hour and I've got to head out of here. I'm hoping I can get those piles out of there and uh, then maybe tomorrow I can actually do some work. I've done nothing today but move stuff around. So hopefully tomorrow I can actually start building the shed now that I've got the materials for it. That's it. Thanks for watching.